It is I, the almighty and powerful Corey Lynx. How's everybody doing tonight? You know, I was going to make one final video about our buddy Phantom Farts 25. That's my new nickname to him. Either that or Fart Fire. I think Fart Fire sounds better. Um, because I kind of tricked him with an alternative account recently, and he said some more ignorant shit. And um, I just, I gotta have the last word. I just, uh, it just kind of, you know, it pisses me off that such ignorance exists in our society. And I just have to correct it. But I don't really feel like doing that tonight. I didn't feel like opening up iMovie and doing all that because I'm just in a real lazy mood. But I'm not lazy enough to make one of these cheap, you know, direct upload videos that probably wouldn't even turn out worth half a shit. And as I was trying to turn my camera on, I discovered that my cam twist isn't working. I thought it was just Tiny Chat, but it's just not working anywhere, and I can't find any updates or the download for it, so I guess I'm pretty much screwed for now as far as video effects goes. Other than that, I've just been chilling, spending some money. I found a really good deal at American Eagle Online uh, the other day. They were still having their Black Friday sale all through the weekend and they had a special discount code over the top of their page and so I ordered like a hoodie it's um, actually kind of this color this shirt is Gap but it's like kind of beigeish dark red um, some underwear, some extra small briefs so I can fit my little booty in there about the same color um, and a pair of jeans they're like a more skinny slim style jeans is what I, which is what I like and a necklace and that's about it Ended up spending nearly seventy dollars. It would have been well over a hundred without the discounts. You know, sixty percent off uh, plus the free shipping discount. So I took advantage of that opportunity while I could, because American Eagle is one of my favorite stores. You know, I've got American Eagle, Express, which lately I really haven't been liking Express that much because their clothes are kind of too big for me. But I still like the style and I like some of their shirts. Not the jeans, because they just, just don't fit tight enough. I love skinny jeans. I like my jeans to fit um, sometimes skin tight. I mean, the Lucky Brand jeans that I was wearing the other night, I love them. And a lot of people think that's, that's uncomfortable. I used to think it was uncomfortable. Like, you know, five, ten years ago, if I would have not, I wouldn't have worn skinny jeans. Actually, five years ago, I would have, because I was in that was when I got out of high school. I was really into it then. It's probably 10 or more years ago. When I was growing up, I just did not like any kind of constricting clothing. It just bothered me. And now I love everything extra small and tight. Um, oh, I was naming out all my favorite stores. So American Eagle, Express, Guess, Armani, if I could afford it. Uh, Bloomingdale's, because that's the only place I can find to exist underwear. It's another thing I love at the mall. Uh, the Bloomingdale's down at Lenox Mall in Atlanta. That's the only place I can find it. I have walked through Nordstrom Dillard's at the mall of Georgia. You cannot find Two Exists anywhere. And you can tell why it's at Lenox, because Two Exists is basically a gay line of underwear. Only gay dudes wear it. And they're really cute. I'll have to model them for y'all sometime, but I don't get my YouTube deletes for it. And every once in a while, I still find something in Hot Topic that I like. I used to only shop there back there in my high school days because I was a rebel like that. And I still got a little bit of that rebel in me. And I like to shop, you know, get some jewelry or something from there. And um, speaking of jewelry, um, I've been wanting to get my ears pierced for the longest time. I'm not sure if I'd want to get anything else pierced, but... I think my ears are a good start, and maybe even stretch them out a little bit, put some gauges in there. I'm thinking about changing my hair color to, once again, like a copper red color. This is like my favorite color. Red is my favorite color. My car is bright red. But also darker reds are my favorite, and I think that that would be a good hair color for me. And I'm going to put like some blonde through the front, just little chunks of blonde. Um, I'm going to do this after I get my hair cut and let it grow out for a week, of course. Well, I'm going to get my hair cut next weekend because that will be like a month. And I like the style that I've been keeping it at. 
it's really simple to take care of, and it's not too long, not too short, I don't think. And I think it really suits me. And I get it done in a place that doesn't charge an arm and a leg for it. I've I've gone to a hair salon in Midtown Atlanta before and ended up paying over fifty dollars for just a basic haircut, shampoo and stuff like that. Um of course you feel when you go to a place like that that you have to give an extraordinary amount of gratuity. And that can also present a problem, and I gave the guy a lot more than 15%, that's for sure, because he did a great job. And plus, I saw him again like a couple of nights later, but that started some drama because the guy I was with got jealous because I made out with him. Um, that's a whole other story from another, for another time. I don't even know if I can remember much from that night because I was drunk as hell. I'm not sure I, was, I got drunk because I was going to get an earful later on from the jealous guy. Um, so I'm trying to change my look. I've been going shopping. Um, I got this job working for my family. Uh, they have like this little business they run. and Um, I work part-time for them now. So I'm making a little extra money. And what I make every week, I split it in half. Half of that goes into my savings and the other half I get to spend for myself on food or clothes or whatever and I've been making good use of it and I think that's a good that's a good way to save you know split it in half only allow yourself to spend a little bit um, I'm not gonna allow myself to go into debt or run all my money out before I get to go to college because there's things that I want to do with my life I still want to go to school for a couple of things and I think this is a good start getting my food up off the ground and being glamorous while I do it can't go wrong with that, right? And let's see here, what else do I want to talk about? Oh yeah, I was gonna get an iPhone, but I don't know. I know you can, it's like only at and I think, and I don't like at and I don't think I'm gonna stick around with them for very much longer. I've still got my Strive, but I, I love this phone, but it's just not good enough. I know I'm a spoiled bitch. Just so ungrateful. But I need new technology in my life. And everybody's telling me, like, I could get the iPod Touch where I can get, like, Wi Fi and listen to music and play games and stuff like that. Um, one of my online friends from Kentucky has one, Miss Heather Holocaust. And she loves it. She's always playing on it. And that's why I wanted to get one. But everybody's just like, no, don't get, the I don't get the iPod Touch. Get an iPhone. There's no point in getting an iPod Touch. But I'm just like, I'm not going to be with ATT for very much longer. And I don't know how that's going to work out. The iPhone is the lowest uh, level iPhone. It is cheaper than an iPod Touch. That's for sure. And you can still play games on that and get free Wi-Fi. Like if I'm out somewhere that has Wi-Fi, I can just you know still check my Facebook and stuff like that. So it's definitely something to think about. Now the iPad is something else that I was thinking about, but I'm just like, I don't, that's too high, too big, too much. I think that would be a waste of $500 or so. I'm actually very technology illiterate. I don't know the names of all these gadgets and exactly what they entail and what they can do for you. I just know what's trendy. And I know the basics and what it can do for me, and that's pretty much all I care about. So yeah, that's what's been going on in my exciting life. I have been, well, I'm not going to tell you anything negative. There are some negative sides to recent things that have been happening with me. Uh, devol involving depression. I might open up about that, actually. I think it's good to talk. But for those of you who have sat here for 9 minutes and 25 seconds, just listen to me bitch and rant about life, Good job. I admire you for your patience and your attention span. That's about it for this video blog. In fact, that is it. And when I decide to make a video about Fart Spire, I'll let y'all know. I'll post it and you'll see it. So, peace.